Hey everyone, I'm Nick from Coffee Before Arch, and in this episode of C++ Crash Course, we're going to be talking about const expert. Now, const expert is a keyword that was added in the uh, C++ 11 standard, and it's been improved upon in C++ 14 and 17. But we're going to be talking about some basic uses for it today. Now, you know, fundamentally, const expert is a way of moving, you know, things done at runtime uh, and making them be evaluated at compile time instead. So you can get some added you know, speed up in your code because you're, you know, making sure that th these values are going to be computed, you know, already by the time the application is built. So they're only going to be computed uh, once. So in this case, uh, we can have, you know, something very simple like const expert int i is equal to five, or something like const expert uh, expert, you know, some double is equal to 1.5. Uh, but we can also have things like const expert inside of a struct. So inside of this simple uh, struct called my struct, we can go ahead and have this static const expert. Now in this case, these are going to be static because, or have, they have to be static uh, because you know they're going to be the same for all structs, right? So this isn't just for a particular you know instance of an object. Uh, this is going to be this field is going to be set for all of the objects that are in my struct. So we can set some you know int id is equal to five, some you know character array weight. And then, then we can even, you know, set some pointer, right? So this constant character pointer C equal to the address of say weight zero. Now, another nice thing we can do, right? Since we're working with values computed at uh, compile time now, we can actually check those values, right? So we can still make sure that we're doing the right thing. So just like we have assert for checking runtime values, we can have static assert to check uh, compile time values. So you know, when we're checking this dereference of C is equal to the character uh, two, right, and printing out oops if it fails, this is actually happening at compile time. So now our program won't even build uh, if the compiler sees, you know, whatever the value of C is not equal to two, right? Unlike a normal assert where, you know, that, that assert's only gonna, going to be triggered, you know, at that comparison at runtime. We can even do some clever things in terms of, you know, functions, right? So we already have some int i is equal to five. And then we can also have this const expert int result. And we can set it equal to uh, a function call. So we can have a const expert function. In this case, we can have uh, a Fibonacci function that will give us a Fibonacci number based upon some integer input. And we can even have a recursive function, right? That's a const expert. So in this case, it's a very simple implementation of a, you know, a Fibonacci function. But again, this is all happening at compile time, right? So the first thing we'll do uh, to show this off is we'll go ahead and just compile const expert.cpp, uh, right? And we'll go ahead and give it you know, a little name and we can print it out. And we see that, you know, we get the numbers that we'd of course kind of expect. Uh, but the real cool part starts uh, when we start change is when we start changing things. So we can start seeing, you know, that this is actually happening at compile time and it's not just some kind of um, keyword that we don't understand by, uh, you know, with the static assert, we can say, okay, well, what if I check to see if C is equal to four? Now, with the plugin I have, this actually checks for me uh, inside of my text editor. So it says that, you know, A, these lines say that there's some error here, and we see at the very bottom, it says that static assertion failed, right? And then the string that we set, oops. But we can, you know, go ahead and just check this in the compiler as well. So we can just do, say, G++ on const expert, right? And we can try to compile it again. And instead we get an error, right? So our static assertion failed. So this, that means that, you know, this static assert is actually happening uh, to values calculated at compile time. And we can even play around with, uh, uh, you know, the values that, oops, go ahead and open it back up. We can even play around with, uh, say, you know, we already know that for the Fibonacci, right? So, you know, we're assuming that this is happening at compile time, but what happens when we say get rid of const expert? So we already have this compiled version with const expert. And if we do something like obj dump dash D for disassemble on const expert, we can go ahead and redirect this to say out.asm. Then we can open up out.asm and we can go ahead and find, try to find main. So going through here, right? So we see a lot of things, but what we don't actually see is, you know, a function call. So if we try to type in say, something like Fibonacci, 
you know, it says it doesn't find it. Okay. So it doesn't look like Fibonacci, you know, exists right inside of const expert. Uh, but what happens when we go ahead and get rid of the const expert, right? So if we go ahead and get rid of const expert on both there and at result, we should get the same functional output. Now it's just going to be calculated at uh, runtime, right? So we'll just go ahead and compile this again. We see that we'll get the same result out. But if we do the same, if we look at the uh, binary again, right, we go back to out.asm, we try to find Fibonacci. We see that, you know, inside of our main function, we're actually getting a call here, right? So we're calling this Fibonacci. And then we go up here, we see that, you know, indeed, now this is happening at uh, runtime now. This is no longer something that was, you know, went ahead and calculated for us at compile time. Now we're having to actually do a function call, right? So these are just some of the, you know, very basic uses of something like const expert and some, you know, you know, the basic idea of uh, why, it's a, why it's a very nice thing in as part of the C++ standard uh, to get uh, to know well, you know, mainly because it can help with performance. We can get rid of function calls. We can just push a lot of work to the compiler instead of having to do it, uh, you know, at runtime every single time we run the program. But that's going to go ahead and do it for this video. As always, feel free to check out any of this code at github.com slash coffee before arch. Now today we looked at stuff in the standard library. We looked at const expert. So feel free to download this, play around with it, and let me know if you have any questions. And as always, I'm Nick, and I hope you have a nice day.